One of the hot new series of the fall season is a British import called Dempsey and Makepeace. It stars Michael Brandon and Glynis Barber as two police detectives who aren't exactly crazy about each other. Before you meet them, let's see a scene from Dempsey and Makepeace. <laughs> Michael, Glynis, congratulations on your new show and welcome, well, welcome to our show. You know, how did you get away with that word? <laughs> you can say a lot more over there than you can here, see. Well, it's obvious in the show you don't like each other too much. And uh, how'd you get along when you first met in England? Pretty similar to that, really. <laughs> <laughs> Was the problem mainly creative differences, or what, Linus? Um, well, it took a little getting used to each other because I'd never really met anyone quite like him before, and we worked in very different ways. I think British actors are different to American <laughs> actors. You may have noticed. Well, Michael, what was your initial reaction to Glennis? Well, I thought she was. Uh Real good looking. That's for sure. And unavailable. <laughs> and real cool. And uh, she just kind of froze, you know. I mean, I was, I was getting, see what happened was, as soon as we made the deal, I started getting into the character of Dempsey, who was totally irreverent, yeah. who was brash, who was rude, who was right out of the gutter. You know, and here's a lady's lady. And so I come over and I'm yelling on this restaurant. The phone was annoying me. I went, hey, somebody answer that. <laughs> this is the Ritz Hotel, by the way. <laughs> Some restaurant, you know. Uh, were you attracted to Michael at all? Um, well, yes, I, I did think there was something attractive. Something way down Some kind of an animal attraction, animal, right? Animal, you know. <laughs> but, um, no, it amazed me that, you know, he found anyone to go out with, to be honest. <laughs> I couldn't understand how anyone could date him. Well, what changed the situation? I mean, how did you end up going together? I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just forget that. You travel in America before. Oh, righty. Have you traveled in America before? Yeah, yeah sure. Um, um, you know, like in a car. <laughs> Um, no. You haven't? No. I've only whizzed in and out on aeroplanes, uh -huh. you know, sort of very bl briefly. I haven't seen anything, actually. Although yeah. this is the third time I've been here. Well, you grew up in New York City. Did you yeah. ever imagine you'd lead this kind of a life that you'd be an actor, that you'd be living the glorious life of Hollywood? Did you ever have any idea of that? Well, I think where I grew up, I was just happy to stay alive. Oh. You know, it was kind of survival, basically. You know, streets of Brooklyn, you know, gangs and all that kind of stuff. But. Basically, there was always a desire to be somebody from somewhere. I mean, there was got to be a better life out there, and nobody came back from a, with a spaceship, you know, to take me home, you know. I think it was because, um, on a serious track, I mean, it was a matter of having sensitivity in a world that yeah. didn't allow you to be that way. You can't express yourself in a world because you've just got to maintain your cool to stay yeah. alive. And getting into this business opened up everything. For me and That's it's nice. you know it's proof that you can do anything yes. be anywhere yes. i mean uh and you can bank those fires you can use those fires you can use that background the old strasberg idea use it use it you can use that well in this character it relates a lot because i i created the character of dempsey which i changed from the original script to make more dynamics between yeah. us yeah. the culture clash mm -hmm. so that he comes from the ghetto from the streets and uh, there's always that thing between them well, what do you do to relax when you're not working. I mean, uh, that's another question. <laughs> <laughs> you have trouble answering, right? Why do you have that look in your eye? <laughs> no, you it's, it's just, it's just we, we, have to, we have to stay on the air. What do, you, what do you do to relax when you're not working? Well, I don't have much time, but I, I actually find relaxing very difficult. I've sort of recently taken up yoga. Since I, le I met Michael, actually, I had to take up yoga. <laughs> and uh, and I, try, I, I jog and do aerobics, and uh, you have to keep fit because you need so much stamina just to get through. Well, you both look, you look beautiful, you look great, and I wish you both wonderful success on your show, and uh, may you stay on the air forever, and may you knock off the show opposite you. And so, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a, we'll be right back into this message. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Here's more great life trivia for you. Watch it. Oh, that's tough. I give up. How about you? Gee, that's a lot of aroma. But then, it's a great life, right? And more.